This is Time Magazine. I'm here with James Cameron, who's taking questions from Time readers. Great. I'm all set. This question comes from a reader in Aruba who asks, is Avatar a Native American story? Uh, no, not exclusively. When I was writing it, I was thinking more about the colonial period and the, the French and Spanish and, and English kind of coming in and taking over North America, Central America, South America, Australia, where they were basically almost completely genocidal to the, to the Aboriginal people there. You know, so our track record as human beings is pretty bad historically when it comes to a militarily superior society interacting with a militarily, you know, less powerful society. They either get wiped out, they get displaced, and they wind up, you know, kind of refugees or on reservations, or they wind up enslaved. So, you know, this is not something we need to feel guilty about. It's something we just need to be aware of, that as human beings we have this kind of sense of entitlement. If we can take it, we will. The major relevance now is that that's our attitude about nature. We just take it. We mine it, we strip it, we log it, we, we take from the ocean, we take all the fish, and we, 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 don't, war we don't concern ourselves with uh, sustainability, with giving back that which we've taken. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it, it's not a sustainable model. We're going to die out if we don't change our perception. From Julie Patrick in Manhattan Beach, California, who asks, I connected with Avatar's message about the planet and taking care of our forests, oceans, and wildlife. How can we here on Earth create our own Pandora? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. You know, people are talking about being depressed coming out of the movie. And, you know, I, I, I tell them, you know, go for a walk in the forest. Go, you know, go uh, snorkeling in a, a coral reef. Really appreciate the nature we have. So I think from a, from a respect for nature comes action. I guess what, what Avatar asks people to do is to, is to um, have an emotional reaction to, uh, to the movie and then translate that emotional reaction into action in their day-to-day their -day lives. Mark Monroe in Paris asks, what was the most powerful motivator for writing Avatar? That's an interesting question. I mean, all these thoughts and ideas were clearly swirling around uh, that, you know, that I've just been, been talking about. But another powerful motivator was, was the opportunity to do like a kind of mega design project where you get to design everything. You get to design the vehicles and the creatures and the, the plants. Uh, and everything that, that is in front of the camera gets designed other than actually the actors' faces and bodies. And even then, the main, the main characters are, are either, either Navi or they take an avatar form, so even those characters get, get designed. And I love, I love art, I love design, I love science fiction. So to me, that was right in my area code as, a, as the all-time fantasy project. So I was writing toward visual goals that I had as much as thematic ones. With Avatar being just as successful as Titanic, are you planning on taking another 12 years before the next one? <laughs> I didn't plan on taking 12 years last time, mm -hmm. so I can't really answer that. Look, I, I, I have a lot of interests uh, besides filmmaking. I'm interested in space exploration, deep ocean exploration. I'm interested in alternative energy. There are a lot of things that I want to be doing besides just making movies, but I don't. My current plan is not to take 12 years. My current plan is to, do, is to start another film, if not an Avatar if not, if not an Avatar film, something like that, that uses a lot of these new techniques. Because we built a great team to make Avatar. And, and the enthusiasm and the passion of that team uh, uh, and, and the capability of that team is what would make me want to do another film like this uh, pretty much right away. How do you think the use of CGI in 3D will affect cinema? Um, well, look, I mean, we've already seen that you know, Hollywood is now 3D crazy and they're starting to convert movies to 3D, which is a classic example of Hollywood getting it wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, we show them that a movie that took four and a half years to make and was authored in native 3D mm -hmm. can make a lot of money, from which they conclude that if they just smash bash a movie into 3D in an eight-week period, they can accomplish the same thing. Um, in terms of the future of CG, it's just going to continue the way, it's, the way it's been developing. I mean, obviously, there's, a, there's a, a, a milestone with, I think, with Avatar in terms of the emotional reality of CG characters. Mm -hmm. That can now, I think, continue. That'll have, have acceptance mm -hmm. from here on. Um, you know, I, I think that, that uh, we're at an interesting stage right now where... Um, as filmmakers, if we can imagine it, we can create it. 
And I, I think, you know, I, I've said that previously, but I don't think it was quite true because there was always this, what I always thought of as the last frontier or the last hurdle, which was emotional truth in this type of tight close-up in a fully CG character sustained throughout a long movie. Not as a little stunt in the middle of a movie, but sustained throughout a film. And, you know, I think we've, we've overcome that hurdle. Which character trait or character flaw, if you prefer, is the most important explanation of your success? I mean, for me, I would say it's all driven by curiosity and, and the desire to be personally challenged. Mm -hmm. Those two things, I can sum it, sum it all up. And I don't know if, 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 it's a, it's, if it's a formula for success, it's just what, what drives me. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious, I wanna know more, I choose projects that I'm gonna learn from, I choose projects that are challenging, I don't wanna do the same thing twice. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, I think personal challenge, you know, trying, trying to, uh, uh, to strive for excellence. And to me, the, the, in, in filmmaking, the excellence is how excellent can the, uh, uh, the, the entertainment experience be for the audience. You know, I'll pull out all, all stops mm -hmm. to do that.